Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we're going to have a look at the King Kong ETV2. This is the 125 and this is the version for Flysky. So this is what you get in the box. As you can see, you get your normal lunch box, which is the King Kong tradition. Now I don't know whether they're called LDARC or King Kong at the minute because it seems to change all the time. So you get some different tops for it, so it comes with that top on, but as you can see I've had a little bit of an accident, smashed that top. So it's got the red top on, you also get this one if you want a different style, and you get the nice smoked rear one. So you get them with it, you also get in the box a little bit of an instruction manual, and then in here you get some stickers, if you want to put some stickers on it, so you get a pack of stickers, and you get some spare props. Now weirdly enough, the yellow and white, but you don't get a yellow and white canopy, I find it a bit strange. We get the white canopy with it, but you've already got white props on there, so I find it a bit strange it don't give you the smoked props, but you can still pick some of them up. So that's what's in the box. I do like these lunch boxes they come with, because it's great for storing it. Um, and of course this one goes back in. Some of the King Kongs didn't go back in to the lunch box when it was on, but this obviously does. So let's get rid of the lunch box out of the way. So this is the quad itself. It flies on a 2S battery, on a 2S LiPo. And a th it's got obviously, as you can see, bushless motors. I love these tops on the props now, so they've got the protectors on the top. And you can see mine are a bit scuffed, and you can see the props are a bit scuffed. This does, is okay, you can give it a bit of a beating. Now, I'm not sure whether this is a beginner's drone or not, because it, it takes a little bit, a little bit of flying. It's probably, if you've had something before, maybe a bit smaller or a little tiny whoop, this is probably a great thing to move on to. Quite expensive for what they are, in my opinion, they're £100. Um, but I suppose you get what you're paying for. It does come with a load of features. It comes with a camera which isn't adjustable. Now I've had a problem with my camera keeping falling out of here when it gets anything like a gentle bang upside down. So I've actually took mine in bits, clipped it back in and put two little blobs of hot glue behind it. So I've done that and apart from that everything else is stock on it. So see this receiver for your camera and that is which mine was buried inside actually but that is my antenna for my receiver so this is the battery it comes with it comes with a 7.4 volt 550 now I don't think it's something here what C rating it is what I can tell you is with this battery as soon as it's depleted even a little bit the alarm's going to come on for the battery I dropped mine down on beta flight because it was coming on all the time so I'm guessing this isn't the highest milliamp hour battery uh, I have loads of other 2S batteries and it seems to fly better on them but this is the one that comes with it you only get the one battery so the battery clips go in under here and then I'm flying on my Nirvana So my Nirvana's set up on here, so I have arm, alarm, and, you don't, and then on here I have my flight mode. So I have angle, horizon, air. Now what you get on this is an actual buzzer and on screen display, which you don't always get on King Kong stuff, and it's what it's been criticised for in the past. I still don't think the camera's great on this, so I'll be totally honest with you, from now, the camera I don't think is that good. You'll see from the video for it yourself, but I've seen much better cameras out there. So, yeah, you've got that on there, so, um, as you can see, it's got quite a bit of power, that battery's going a bit flat. can get it quite easy, you can make it... You have to fly it, to fly it like this, you have to be very careful on your stick. It likes thrashing about, it loves flying hard, and it does fly really well. It's quite, it's strong, because I've crashed it quite a few times, you can see from the canopy that's smashed to pieces in the corner, 
and I've had no issues with it whatsoever. It's a great drone, I think it's a little bit overpriced because of the camera not being great, but it's a fantastic drone for flying outside for some summer fun. It needs, you could do with, I flew it in five or six mile an hour wind, you'll see the video that's coming up. That's probably five or six mile an hour, but yeah, it's going to be great this in the summer. So, you, like I say, watch the video that's coming up where I fly, film it with my GoPro and you're going to see the video footage from the camera. I don't think it looks that great. But yeah, I recommend the drone, see if you can get it on a special day. There'd be better if it was a little bit cheaper. They do the V1 version of this, but there is quite a big of difference. So if you if you can afford it, yeah, the V2 is a good one. I just wish it came with more batteries in the camera with a bit better. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.